Hi there and welcome. Welcome to Lasso Create. My name is Rebecca and today's tutorial I'm going to take it in a little bit of a different direction. Making a daisy granny square. Now I'm going to be doing the left-handed version for you left-handers out there and if you want to see the right hand version or need reference this is not my design it is Melanie Ham's design. If you're not familiar with her website and her YouTube channel, I would encourage you to hop on over there. She was a great inspiration in her short life. She was actually one of the reasons why I decided to start a YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you the green version just because I'm in the mood for spring. Still snowing outside. Well, not snowing, but there's still snow outside. So I am itching to bring flowers <laughs> in in every way. Okay, so if you're new to crocheting, the fun thing about learning how to crochet is you only need a crochet hook and maybe a pair of snips and some yarn, and you can get started and take it anywhere. Especially now that we're heading into spring, there'll be more travel, there'll be more activities going to outdoor events and if you need something to keep your hands busy this is a great hobby to get you started. I am starting off with a five millimeter or an H size crochet hook and I'm wanting to go over the colors that Melanie used in her granny square because I mean what's there not to love about this. So I actually use this soft and sleek low pill yarn. This one is in the color blush and the number 630. Soft and sleek. This is like a creamy white color. Then I'm gonna be using this mustard color by Soft and Sleek. So you're gonna start off with a mustard color and you're going to make a magic loop because you can pull it tighter in the center. So it's really good for granny squares. Grab the tail end, loop it around like an X. Put your thumb in the X. Flip it over so those two yarns are parallel to each other. Then you're going to go in, go under the first strand, grab the working yarn or the yarn attached to the yarn ball and then twist. Okay, then you're going to take the yarn that is attached to the ball, go wrap it around the hook and pull through that loop. And that makes your magic loop. Then I'm going to do eight single crochets in that loop. So I'm going to go in with a crochet in the middle of the circle, go under, grab the working yarn, pull it back through the center, and you'll have two loops on the crochet hook, and then you'll go under the working yarn and pull through those two loops, and that'll be your first single crochet. You're going to repeat that eight times. Pull the tail and then you'll go into the first V. You'll see it looks like a V. You'll go under both of those slip stitch by looping the thread and then pulling through both of those stitches and that is the center part of the daisy. Grab your white thread. You're going to go into any one of these single crochets, go under the V section and I'm going to attach the white or whatever color you want to attach depending on what type of flower you want to make. Chain three, one, two, three, and then I'm going to loop over and go into the same hole that I started with a white. Grab the yarn and pull up. There'll be three loops yarn over. Pull through two and then yarn over. Go back through the same spot, pull through, and my yarn split there a little bit, but it'll be all right. Pull through two, and so far you have that first chain three that'll count as the first, and then there's two, there's three, and so we'll need to go in one more time. And this makes a cluster. So 
So you'll have five loop over, pull through two, and that gives you the one, two, three, four. Loop over, and then pull through all four of those stitches. So then you're going to do a chain two, So we've chained two and I'm going to go into that very next stitch. Yarn over, go in, pull up, yarn over, pull two through two, yarn over, go in, pull up, yarn over through two, yarn over, and pull up. There'll be five loops. You're going to yarn over, pull through two. And that gives you one, two, three, so we'll have to do one more. Yarn over, back into that same stitch, pull up, and there'll be like six loops at first. You're going to yarn over and pull through two, leaving five on your crochet hook, and that's what you want. And then you're going to yarn over and pull through all those. So then I'm going to do one, chain one, chain two, and carry on to the next stitch. And you can pull that tail and work it in. Not the tail that tightens the magic loop, but the other tail that's on there. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and at this point, I'm going to cut this tail because it's been woven in. There we go. Chain two, one, two. And then you're going to slip stitch at the chain three that you did at the very beginning. So one, two, three. So you're going to go in, yarn over, pull through, and pull through like so. And then you can cut your tail. Yarn over, pull through. There's your little daisy. And you can pull the tail to tighten it. Okay, so just take a, a needle with a large eye. Okay. You're just gonna weave in. I like going through the base of those petals. And hiding it. Repeat for the other two. Okay, so I'm going to attach the next color. I'm going to do green on this one. It's a field of daisies with some green behind it. Do it one, start doing a chain. We're going to do chain five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to do three double crochets in that first hole, same hole. One, two, three. I'm working in the yarn as I go so that I won't have to weave it in. And this is going to be the other, where the other chain's going to come around and hook in, and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, yarn over, find the next space between your petals, go in, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. And then do two more double crochets. So a total of three double crochets in that. And then go to the next space between the petals and on this third hole. So there's one, two, three on this third hole is going to be the corner, which is going to be like this. So it's going to be three double crochets, then you're going to chain two and three double crochets again, all in the same hole. Right, so do three double crochets. Then 
then chain two, one, two, and then another three double crochets. And you see that that corner is taking shape. Okay, so next between the petals and the next chain two, you're going to do three double crochets. And this is the center point right here. And then the third space over from the last corner is going to be another corner. So I'm going to go in, three double crochets, then chain two, and then another three double crochets in the same space. Okay, so then the next three double crochets. Okay, so there's one hole, two holes, three holes, gonna be the corner. Okay, and then another three double crochets in the next space, in the next chain two. Okay, so this is gonna count as one of the double crochets. So we've got one, two, three, and then that counts as one, so we need two more double crochets in that space to finish that corner. Slip stitch in the third chain. And pull through. And then snip your yarn, yarn over, and pull through. 